crystal with pineapple papers and I am doing my first layout with my secret not so secret kit for the month of October and it is beautiful and there is a ton of Maggie Holmes carousel collection with this so I have a couple pictures of us at the fair this year. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, this particular paint is phenomenal. It is the most beautiful paint I think I have ever seen. It has this sparkle to it. Oh, it's just so pretty. It smells terrible but it's beautiful and completely worth it. So I decided I was just going to get a little bit on a pre-gessoed paper to kind of see what it does. And I loved it so much it just kept going. I'm pretty lucky that I didn't get it all the way over. And then I just wet my paintbrush and put it in the paint and did a few splatters. Now it's interesting, the the color definitely has a silver base to it. So some of the splatters are silvery. And I also got this paint pen. Now I took this cut file and my original plan was to draw around each heart. Now this particular heart is going to be behind the photo. So that was the one I was kind of playing with. Well, I didn't quite like the look of that, um, so I decided to just smudge it with my finger and basically finger paint this cut file. And I don't make you watch it all. So that's what I did. I just finger painted the cut file. Now, I will tell you, wouldn't necessarily do that on my mat again. Um, it made a huge mess. I had to go get my magic eraser. I had all this paint everywhere. Um, but it was kind of fun and I love the color of the gold. It's, it's just beautiful. So I took that chevron paper from Capture Life and I just backed this photo of my husband and I at the fair. He was nice enough to take a selfie with me. And we tried really hard to get the Ferris wheel in the background. That wasn't an accident. It was completely staged. <laughs> so now I am just going through the ephemera pack from the carousel collection. And I have pulled a couple of tickets and that little ticket booth with the little lady. I think that's pretty cute. And then I like this so sweet for my title. I did um, trial a few other things, but that's the one I like. Now, the, the tag is from my kit. It's not from the embellishment pack. Um, and it's really just there for decoration. I'm not going to put any journaling on it or anything. Um, I'll be lucky to go back and do like a date stamp um, or right fair 2017, something like that. So this ephemera pack is packed with stuff, so much stuff. Um, and as I got to the bottom there, I was like, Oh, look, I have a doily. Love me a doily. So that doily is going to go behind to give some texture. And then I saw this this is actually the packaging from the ephemera pack. And I love the gold scallop on the bottom. So I decided I'm going to use that as an extra layering piece for my picture. Now, it's a little wide. I love the scallop, but I didn't like the wide border around. So I am going to trim that down. And it's funny because I 
you know, you look at all of the wonderful things on the ephemera pack, and then Maggie Holmes is so awesome that even the packaging is beautiful, and we'll make it on the layout. So I'm just going to stick that little tab in there for some extra color, and I like the idea of bringing in the black and white with the those flowers and then again with the card I kind of felt like I needed to get a ferris wheel on this page considering there is a ferris wheel in the back and in the collection there are ferris wheels so that ferris wheel card is just kind of tucked back there you can tell it's a ferris wheel but it's not like in your face that yes that is a ferris wheel so I'm just going to fuss around with this a little bit. I grab a couple of these heart sequins from my kit and just scatter them on the top and the bottom. And I will grab two of the resin flowers. As you can see there, I kind of thought maybe I'd bring in one of those buttons, um, but I felt like it just seemed a little bold. So... I left the buttons off. I thought maybe I'd do the stars that came in the ephemera pack, but um, I was kind of going with a heart theme. Now I got this beautiful baker's twine in my kit, and so I just replaced the tag twine with the baker's twine I got. And then I was like, you know, I think it needs something on the top and the bottom to kind of ground it. It just kind of felt like that whole cluster was just floating. And I was thinking, well, maybe I bring some of that baker's twine to the bottom. But instead, I'm going to tear this beautiful washi tape in half and put a little bit on the top and a little bit on the bottom. And I love it. So that is my first layout for this kit. I'm excited to do the next one. So hope you enjoyed this. Remember to wear your crown and bye!